We are going to add nitros. I like this stuff. So I can tell you some nice initiation from Timu. And it's in blue. Oh, it looks like we've had a complete engine failure. Yesterday we had the training. Uh, it didn't uh, go so well because we tried to drive with a one gear, and it's impossible because you have a quite a high speed entry uh, compared to the rest of the track. So uh, the w one gear is. If, if it's enough for the entry, then it's too long for the rest of the track. So we decided to go to like a very short ratio, 4.7. So I start with the second gear from the line, third and fourth, and uh, with the fourth gear in, then the wheel speed is enough. And on the second clip, I downshift to third, and uh, then it's perfect for the rest of the track. So now I had a two practice run with this uh, setup and it felt good. So yeah, okay. in time. <laughs> Small commercial break. We have a new partner in our Turbo Diesel uh, Builds channel and surprise surprise is Car Vertical. Uh, you can get a report of your car or from your neighbor's car uh, with a win code and you get a lot of information history of the car uh, as uh, this example BMW which, uh, which is damaged on the front end there's almost 20 pictures of it uh, use the coupon code TPD, you get 20% off, or the link below. Help us subscribe to the channel, <laughs> do everything. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. What do you think about the event in general? A lot of cars, a lot of uh, drivers, uh, so not so much track time. Uh, hopefully, it's enough because now we found the right setups on the uh, two, last two rounds, two uh, runs. So yeah, qualification is next. It uh, starts like, like now. <laughs> So a quarter of the way through from the map. Another Mercedes. We have three Mercedes on the grid, by the way. They get popular now, Dave. Especially these the ones. That, you know, <laughs> we just can't, can't move for them out there. Timo Bodola from Finland in this crazy diesel-powered BMW. 800 horsepower, 1,200 newton meters of torque. He's going to need every bit of it to take this around the circuit. Look at this nice initiation from Timo. Yeah, it certainly is a nice initiation. A little shallow run outside turn one. Manx now starting to get it to work now. He goes shallow on outside turn three. Big old car, heavy to throw around as well, even though the back end is fully made. And Fireman puts it to the wall now as Timo Fertola looks for the outside turn. Oh, and you can see the wheel up covered in big contact with a the wall there. Yeah, that's going to be a zero. He stopped drifting, did not complete the run and absolutely tore the rear end. What happened after uh, the qualification? Uh, or during? During the qualification, first run went okay until the second last wall. I hit it quite bad. I went to wide line. I'm pretty sure <coughs> the concrete was on the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so you were not? No, no, definitely <laughs> not. Yeah, I hit the wall and uh, worst uh, damage was the brake disc. Brake disc broke? Yeah, because we didn't find a new one. So we decided to go with the 
one brake disc on the rear end, so the handbrake was not so good. And yeah, I went to before second second run. I went to tire war warming back box and engine blue. What is this going to be? Oh, what is this? What's happened? Oh, it looks what, like, what has happened here? Oh, it looks like we've had a complete engine failure. Oh, and he sat with a zero as well after making contact with the wall. And he's out. <laughs> Out of, out of the blue, the engine blue. Yeah. And yeah, we was quite interested what, what happened because the valve cover was broken. We went to the pit and uh, took the, actually the whole engine apart on the pieces. We found that uh, one frost plug came loose from the end of the camshaft and that went somewhere where it shouldn't go. And uh, then came uh, these retainer locks came loose and uh, one valve dropped uh, in the cylinder on, on top of the piston. And there is not uh, so much extra room? No, and uh, that was a quite exodus. <laughs> yeah, the engine was quite done. Yeah, so yeah, we sold everything. <laughs> we sold the broken block. Pistons and rods and uh, everything. a lot of people got good souvenirs. Yeah, so yeah, that was Germany. Not what I was expecting. I, I'm, I'm sure what uh, Otter was expecting, but I, w I was expecting quite good result. It, it is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, better luck in uh, in the final round in Poland. Yeah, so now we have new engine there. Yeah, it's Actually, it's, it, there. it's the proto engine. We we have uh, test drive it and test some new things on it. So it it has been like uh, our spare one, but there's also two engines coming, two heads. Uh, but uh, if if we just get the a block, new block on next week, so then we have uh, enough time to build a complete new engine. But if not, then we are going with this proto engine. Should not be any problem, but yeah. <laughs> and here's also a new friend. A new friend. We are going to add nitros. I like this stuff. We, ha we have been uh, driving with nitros with the old engine. years, years ago. It is really good stuff. <laughs> How will we use it now? We will use it, I think, from 2500 RPMs until we get enough uh, turbo boost. So, just for the spool up the turbos. And we know it works a really good uh, in diesel engine and I'm really waiting for for to use this on in Poland and the track is what I have seen it's technical quite small track and yeah a lot of concrete <laughs> a lot of walls I, I think I like it also our new glass fiber rear end is coming <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> So let's see. Otherwise, I think we have plans. <laughs> plans before before Poland. So <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what will happen after Poland. Something maybe. At okay. least at least this. <laughs> this will happen. Yes. So hopefully, some people have seen it also on already on YouTube. Let's see. We are waiting waiting for the Poland final. 53,000 tickets sold. <laughs> it will be amazing. Quite amazing, yeah. So, thank you for this and see you in Poland.